Hello my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we did follow up with Cory and Tilly and she did connect us to dreams to find out that Dandelion's in town. So now we have a new quest to go and visit Dandelion at his recently acquired brothel, Ooh, I think. <laughs> but before we go and do all that, I do want to go and collect this quest that's over here that popped up on the map at the end of the video yesterday. So let's go grab that real quick. What's going, what's going on down here? Oh, bandits. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, let's go help kill bandits. There's a whole undercity. Or is this the entrance to the sewers? Ooh, I chopped his head off. Ow. This must be the, another entrance to the sewers. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Is the quest still there? Quest is still there. <laughs> Notice in this game, if you get too close to if you get too close to quests, they go and you don't pick them up right away. They can go away potentially. So yeah, here we go. This tech addict. Draw your weapon. Oh gosh. Prepare for battle. You shall not have it easy this time. Brought friends. Huh. They all <laughs> pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor, too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? <laughs> yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Um... <laughs> Oh gosh, I, I kind of want to fight them all just to see what happens, but I'm concerned I might kill him this time. But, eh, it's not like I'm not gonna play it again. Fine, I'll fight all of you. You never asked, but since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. <laughs> ah, okay, maybe I shouldn't have fought all of them at once. There we go. Oh, I, I did kill him. Oh, I feel bad. Is he dead? While well, I'm looting him. Oh, he must be. Oh, darn. I gotta feel bad about the dope. To the most beautiful woman in the world, such is my quest to wander the villages of this fair land of Felon, singing the praises of Maid Bilberry. I shall bring due fame to her unequaled beauty and unparalleled charms. Maid Bilberry is without a doubt the most intelligent, most understanding, and most compassionate of all creatures. <laughs> to walk this our, um, our imperfect world, I shall immediately and with full prejudice correct any man who dares to claim otherwise. The most stubborn and foolhardy of these ignorami shall taste of my family blade. I mean, I never said that she wasn't pretty. I just said I'd never met her, but whatever. Indeed, just the other day, I came across a certain gentleman fondling some tart and having the cheek to call her my most beautiful little flower. This enraged me so egregiously that I decided to explain to the fool the magnitude of his error, but he refused to listen. And when I insisted further, he fled. This truly is a land of cowards. I shall not rest until I've convinced all the locals that they should direct their compliments to Maid Bil Bilberry and only Maid Bilberry. This guy is, was, dumb as a box of rocks, right? <laughs> I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel really bad, but it's 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 just a game right <laughs> i'll do it differently next time okay so we're going to head off to the broken oh there's more oh well let's go back to the oops sorry yes go rethink your life <laughs> uh, let's go back to the square that's over here and look at the we notice board no 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 want to dip your dingo no what <laughs> Uh, help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Set witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. <laughs> Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. 
Uh, no. This time I will Jedi mind trick them. Time for you to go home. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we been drinking now? <laughs> Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. That was random. Can mm. <laughs> be random? Is this what happens at night? I have to, like, send drunk men home to their wives and families or something? Okay, the place that I was trying to make it over to is back here. Because there's another notice board that's yellow that I've already read. Ah. Oh. This way, right? Yeah. Here we go. So I was emptying out my bags before I started today's video, and apparently I had a coffin in my bag. Which seems unlikely. But, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll buy books. We'll purchase books, content not important, as long as they're bound in attractive letter and have titles written in gold plate. I wish to display them in my salon in a bid to lend my domicile gravity and sophistication. Helmet Altsberg Cotton Merchant. Announcement concerning the items of magic nature. We've, we've read that one. Warning for new arrivals. Newcomers are hereby informed that in Novigrad, one worships the eternal fire and only the eternal fire. The practice of any other religion will be treated as an act of heresy and punished to the full extent of the law. That is by public incineration. It's pretty harsh here, just saying. Particularly forbidden is the wearing of the symbols of other deities, the conducting of rituals in their honor or the preaching of other faiths. His Excellency Cyrus Inkelkind Hemelfart. I'm calling him a fart. <laughs> Hierarch of the Church of Eternal Fire. Important, do not fondle the merchandise. Fondled goods must be purchased by the fondler. The city of the city council of the free city of Novigrad. Stay out of the sewers. We've read that one. Beware haunted house and cheating merchant. To all upstanding residents of Novigrad, hark the words and warning of a loyal fellow townsman. Do no business with that blackguard de Yonk here. Though his line is held in high esteem and considered honorable, he himself is a swine and a cheat. He sold me a residence at a most attractive price, knowing all the while the house was haunted. That guy's kind of a jerk now. There can be no thought of inhabiting it, for an evil spirit torments all who set foot therein. For now the ghost contents itself with rattlings and prankings, but who knows what foul deed it will turn, into, turn to in time. Let then anyone with half a bit of a wit about them stay far away from said home and never make a deal with any sorts with this defrauding de Yonk here. That's kind of crappy that he would do that. I thought he seemed pretty chill about the whole haunted house thing. Oh, a new quest. Wait a minute, are we close enough to go there? We are close enough to go there. Let's go there now. <laughs> oh, this game is great. Getting so, distracted by here. side quests. I was about minding my own business when suddenly puppy pops and heals me. Are we close? Hey, there we go. All right, let's look at the quest. While strolling the bustling streets of Novigrad, Geralt came across a most intriguing notice. It suggested the man named Dionkir had sold some poor fool the house which Sarah, the lovable yet mischievous godling, used as her dwelling and playground. The notice made it clear that the new owner was not amused by his unwanted tenant's pranks. Geralt decided to check up on Sarah and see how she was doing. Oh yeah, I love Sarah. I love little godlings. They're just, they're quirky and fun. Is it the haunted house again? Okay. Ow! Don't pull! Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. What's going on up here? Sarah and... Corrine. Oh! Witcher. Witcher. Corrine, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. Or her. <laughs> I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities, 
But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Very deep thoughts, Geralt. Oh, can I talk to them again? Yes. No, can never follow up. Boo! Boo! <laughs> totally. All right, let's look at the quest text for Haunted House. Geralt wasn't sure what he expected to find in the Haunted House, but it it sure wasn't that. The dreamer, having learned about Sarah from Geralt, had decided to get to know her. They soon became fast friends and had begun living together in Yonkir's former property. Corin cared for the godling, and Sarah made sure the home did not lose its haunted reputation. Well, that's good. It might be safe for Corian to hide there then, because eventually the Church of Eternal Fire is going to come for her, even if she is helpful and nice. And again, she looks so familiar, but I don't know why. Anyway, um, no, 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 we're not going to Skellige. We're going to go to Broken Flowers to talk to Dandelion. <laughs> we're getting closer, <laughs> slowly but surely we're getting closer. <laughs> So many distractions, just walking down the street. Or running down the street, as it were. <coughs> what am I to do now? What village are you from? Willows. It's into an area two days road from the Zima. Your god arrived there just before winter. Blackwoods didn't do no harm, not at first. Till gorillas attacked their garrison, that is. Then they set out orals alight. Why? You hadn't done nothing to them? Nilf guardians are strict masters. Exact punishment for every crime, even if they can't catch the criminal. That sucks. Okay, it's five in the morning. I never come back, you stinking stadges. All we wanted was. Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get. What can I do? Is it's Sultan? Where, where, uh, where is he? That's just floating in thin air. Oh, he's inside. Let's go. It's Sultan! And then Dandelion's probably here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> Gear up in the nick of time, as always. <laughs> Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. <laughs> Damn, you're ugly. Are we... Help Zoltan chase off the tramps? Yeah, these were the guys who were in here to begin with. Ow. Oh, of a piece of your... Yeah, it's almost like we never left first. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you? Um, uh, well, I'd rather not worry you. Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. <laughs> well, a couple things, dot dot dot. <laughs> There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! <laughs> Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? 
Well, first of all, I don't think we cleared things up with Tris. They were just extremely awkward. And then with Yennefer, again, we met her for like five minutes, unless something happened off screen that I'm not aware of. <laughs> so anyway, I'm looking for Siri. I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad, might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Yeah. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Why? Where's Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Well, just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bums. Yeah. Have no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay, that explains a whole lot more because I came here, I don't know how many days ago, but I came into here and dropped stuff off at my storage and it was just bumps, Aha, which seemed odd. A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Um, okay. <laughs> Letter from Fran. When will you return to Sidaris? I hope it will be soon, for I miss you terribly. Waiting to see you again literally pains me. If you are to come, send me a message beforehand. I'll ask my mistress for a day off. Okay. There's a sparkly. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! Is it? It says planner! Um, starting to look like the man's serious about his business. <laughs> um, that's rich. Dandelion and planning? Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. <laughs> Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Uh, that's not surprising. Um, but, oh yeah, that could help. We could talk to his lady friends, although they probably all want to kill him if there's multiple lady friends, right? <laughs> hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. <laughs> Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Read Dandelion's Planner. And it's Zoltan! I'm so, I, Zoltan is one of my favorite characters. I don't know why, I just like him. And I love his model. It's only gotten better as the games have gone on. It's, it's great. Well, let me see if there's anything else of interest here and then we'll read his entry or his, his planner. A letter from a female admirer. 
The thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red and hot. The whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion, and I plunged into pure, purest ecstasy, <laughs> imbibing in its nectar. The music, the singing, you. For that one brief moment, I felt as if I were the lute you so skillfully strummed and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning chords. Oh, gosh. That is just awful <laughs> okay let's see anything else there's a barrel from the finest vineyards every last one no one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion fair enough can you stop you're supposed to be picking up not spitting into stuff are you eating seeds or something is that what's going on oh, there's another letter over here letter from bomel de rabe rab Dear Viscount, once more I would like to convey my thanks for agreeing to grace my son's wedding ceremony with your song. Your presence warmed our hearts and the sweet notes with which you serenaded us so touched my wife's mother, the Baroness Dovalette, called in some circles a cold and heartless bitch, <laughs> that tears of tender emotion appeared in her eyes. Bohem de Rab. All right. She go upstairs as well. What's this? The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Lettenove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. <laughs> it, it is a little excessive, isn't it? Okay. Let's see. And that's my storage. Now, can we go? Oop. From the oh. finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like, like dandelion. dandelion. Yes, we've already said that. Okay, what's over here? Okay, back door. And then let's go upstairs and look. Hmm. It's a big place. All kinds of stuff. All right, well, I'm going to loot and then meet you back downstairs and we'll start going through Dandelion's mm. planner. All right, I went through second floor and third floor and grabbed all the loot that I could. So uh, let's go into our inventory and look at Dandelion's Planner. So Rosavar Atra, like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility, a charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. We have Molly, though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in less embrace. Gildor Phila next to the morgue. And then Vespula, though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? Far corners laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. Marabella, Though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. The bits near Popper Square, we have Ella Hall, Ella Hale. The figure most rare, her natural duel, look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Tailor shop across from the tannery. And before we leave, let's read one more book. What is this? Oh, we read that already. And then let's read Wondrous World of Insectoids. Might give me some more bestiary entries. It does. One is hard pressed to think of a creature more hardworking and better organized than the Endriga. Ants, bees, and termites are no match for them in this regard. Endriga's best, even humans, when it comes to foresightedness and industry. In fact, the human race could benefit a great deal from following their example, resigning from the primitive and obsolete social structures of feudalism, and adopting instead a form of anachrono communism whatever. In arachno-communism, every individual has a specific place and performs a specific labor for the common good. The roles are as follows, worker, soldier, and queen. Each comrade contributes to the necessary daily toil according to his special abilities and takes from the common fund of wealth according to his special needs. And I probably didn't get any bestiary entries, but let's double check just in case. 
insectoids. Oh, and Drigga drones. Lazy good for nothing men are sometimes called drones. That's an insult to Andrika drones who at least get off their arses to fight. Evelyn Harker herbalist. So they don't like insectoid oil. That makes sense. Andrika males are called drones are gluttonous creatures worse only whose only aim in life is to eat, fight, and reproduce. Yet when venturing outside their nests, these aggressive hunters attack any and every creature they come across. Endriga drones live but brief lives, the culmination of which comes in the autumn when they fertilize the queen. They pass the time leading to that moment protecting the colony's territory, which is odd. You would think I would have run into them then. But I haven't run into an Endriga queen either, which is fine. Um, weaker drones die in these battles while the largest and strongest survive. These elect, these elect individuals genes are passed down to the next generation of endergas while they themselves are killed after fertilization takes place and their bodies used to feed the hive during the long winter months. Yeah, these, these guys have a pretty shitty life. I'm just saying. Drones are easy to identify thanks to their distinctive cone-shaped abdomens. Unlike other endergas, they can attack from a distance, sending out a volley of poisoned quills as with all of their kind bleeding has no effect on them and insectoid oil does them a great harm yeah i am finding the oils to be exceptionally useful in this game okay well oh lord we have a a lot of ladies to talk to oh we had an entry update for sultan louise lavalette Louise Lavalette, Baroness Marie, Marie Louise Lavalette, was the talk of Tamaria in her time. Oh, this is right, the King Foltis's mistress and bore him two illegitimate children. This caused quite the scandal and prompted several notable families to take up arms and revolt, only to be bloodily crushed by the king's forces who took Lavalette Castle during a hard fought siege. Yeah, I, I was there. I let her other son live? It was her other son, right? I forget his name. Anyway, Zoltan Shivy, a dwarf, a soldier of fortune, a veteran of the Battle of Brenna, an unassailable optimist, a committed altruist, a lover of rough drinks and rougher songs, a master Gwent player, and above all, a dear and loyal friend to me and Geralt. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Zoltan Shivy. We first became fast friends years ago when Geralt and I ran into Zoltan and the band he was leading at the time across war-stricken Riverdale. It proved our fate to cross paths many times after, and we eventually became inseparable companions, sticking together through good and ill. At our tale's beginning, Zoltan and I had gone into business together, running a Novigrad tavern called the Rosemary and Time. I thought it was a whorehouse. Oh, and I'm level 16. When did that happen? <laughs> just now. It happened just now. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to look at the map and see where all of Dandelion's ladies are found. I can talk to Zoltan. Well, let's quick save after all of that rambling and talk to Zoltan. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Hmm. Oh, tell me about Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. <laughs> Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. <laughs> yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. Is that really a picture of Dandelion, like, slaying a dragon or something? How did I... I have to go look at that. <laughs> Marabella. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And, <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. <laughs> Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. <laughs> Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. I think it's the accent. That's why I like Sultan so much. <laughs> it's great. Anyway, Vespula. 
Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's up. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. <laughs> That's up. <laughs> Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Oh, Dandelion, you and your ladies. <laughs> Rosa Var Atra. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. Uh -huh. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. <laughs> well, then you have a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? <laughs> well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Oh, I want to meet this girl. She sounds feisty and fun. Ella Hall. Ella Hale? A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. <laughs> Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. <laughs> this is why I love Sultan. Although I do prefer wine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. This is great. This is this is going to be such a fun quest. It's so awkward, probably. Look at Dandelion. Slain something. Hmm. Nose is too small. <laughs> hmm. Nose is too small. Really? That's it? How did I miss this? I swear. I'm not as good as investigating as I, as I had hoped I was. All right. Well, let's look at the map. Let's try... Let me see. I think we can have time to do one of them, maybe? So let's go... Talk to, well, who's first on the list? Vespula is first on the list. She's down by the laundry folk, right? Okay, let's go run down to her and chat with her and then I will probably need to wrap up for the day. Oh yeah, we've been down here. We may have even talked to her. <laughs> But I want to save my game. Why can't I save my game? There we go. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week. Please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Oh. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. I love the music so very much. Uh, Vespula's got new protection. Um, or I could just pay what she owes. Because it's not like I'm going to be in Novigrad forever, so... Maybe I can just pay them off and then... Because I'm also concerned if these guys are thugs of some local crime, crime lord, I'm going to have to fight them everywhere in the city. So, let's pay them off this time. This coin and leave. That ain't how it works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold, gold. Exactly. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Well... Not entirely out of kindness. <laughs> and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. 
You or that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> oh, Gerald. Oh, I love it. Uh, I took Dandelion out whoring. I mean, it kind of sounds like something Gerald would do, right? Or, I'm sorry, Gerald. <laughs> Oh, but the music right now, so beautiful, so beautiful. Not Gerald, Geralt. <laughs> oh, dreadful, sorry. <laughs> Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said, claimed I was his one and only, but he fell in with the wrong folk, you and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. <laughs> said you two were a bad example, wine, women. Song, he picked that habit up from us too? Gotta have a word with him. Um, I really don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I, I feel like Dandelion was the bad influence. Actually, they're all bad influences on each other. That's what I'm gonna go with. So actually, Dandelion is why I'm here. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. <laughs> well, I mean, it's dandelion. I, I don't know what you expected. <laughs> so dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. No, no, he... he... No, stay in your huff, it's fine. So who was he with in Harborside? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. Ha! Oh. Horvir, more likely. <laughs> Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Yeah, but what did she look like? Because I'm wondering if it was actually Siri, <laughs> you know? So thanks, good luck. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Okay. <laughs> oh, these, this is gonna be great. These conversations are gonna be excellent, <laughs> but... This is where we're going to stop for today. Tomorrow we will continue talking to Dandelion's ladies <laughs> and go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.